All right, we're going to start with the drum beat. The hi-hat's going to play eighth notes. The bass drum's going to play on beats one and the end of two and three. The snare drum's going to play on two and four. We have four measures of the groove. In the fourth measure, we're going to play a fill. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that hi-hat, I'm going to move it to some toms. It's going to play that same subdivision. And then on beat one of measure five, we're going to play a kick crash. So here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Here comes the fill. One, two, three, four. One, and the kick crash. So now let's quantize that thing. So we're going to hit edit and then quantize to the eighth note. Cool. This song is going to be in the key of G major. Now G is spelled G A B C D E F sharp G. This doesn't sound too bassy, so we're going to move it and knock it down. Now the chords I'm going to use, it's the one chord, which is G. Then I'm going to use the four chord G A B C, four chord C. Then the six, six is C D E, but I'm going to play it down here. So I have one, four, six, four, and then one. Now the bass is going to play the same rhythm as the kick drum, so it's going to play on one, the end of two, and then three. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three. Let's record it. Two, one, two, three, four. 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 Awesome. Now for the chords. Let's quantize that. All right, chords. So we have our G, our one chord. To get the rest of the chord, we need to count up to the three and the five. So one, two, three, four, five. So I have G, B, and D. The next chord, the four chord, one, two, three, four, five. The root is C, the third is E, and the fifth is G. Then for the last one, the six, it's E, two, three, four, five, it's E, G, B. I don't want to have to move around like this. It sounds a little jarring. So I'm going to do what's called inversion. So I'm going to play that first chord here. Then when I go to the second chord, instead of playing it up here, I'm going to take the same notes and I'm going to put them in a different order. To get to that sixth chord, I'm going to take the same notes and put them in a different order. So here we go. Let's record that piano part. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Now let's talk about the melody after I quantize this thing. All right, so the melody. I have this chord. I'm going to use chord tones. So I have the root, the third, back to the root. I'm going to play the root of the four chord, the fifth of the four chord. Then that fifth of the four chord actually becomes the third of the sixth chord, and then the seven. And then I'm going to go back to root of the four chord again. And then we're going to end it with the third of the one chord. Now that's pretty lame. So we need to add in some non-chord tones to connect them. So I have a passing tone going up, some passing tones going down, and then I'm going to play a lower neighbor and a lower neighbor there. And then I'm going to play the root. And then I'm going to make that root a suspension going into the third of the last chord. Now we gotta add rhythm because melody ain't no melody without syncopation and repetition. So here we go. And I'm gonna sing it. And I'm gonna say the non-chord tone type while I'm singing the non-chord tone type. That makes sense. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. Passing tone, anticipation. Neighbor tone, neighbor tone, root suspension. And that's our little song.